and welcome back to the Daily News. I'm so excited to have these guests. We have um, Nell Hay, and she is the chair of the Gullah Museum of Hilton Head. And then we have secretary of the Gullah Museum, Brenda Williams. Good to have you with us, ladies. It's good to be good here. To be here. Yes. Yeah. So we have the reopening of the Gullah Museum on July 1st, and with a lot of renovations to the property. We'll talk about that. And then there'll be a heritage festival that Brenda will talk about. Well, let's begin with you, Nell, on the exciting changes. Yes, we have done so much to the property. We've been talking about redoing the migrant houses for years mm -hmm. and we finally got it almost completed <laughs> on saturday you won't be able to walk through but you'd be able to take a peek inside to see all the work that's been done and the blue house has new flooring and the great dane trailer has new flooring new siding and you can walk through that one, but you won't be able to walk through the migrant houses as of yet because it's not released in our right. care yet. Now, the Great Dane, is that, you said that's a trailer? Yes. And so what is in that? Well, uh, Louise's aunt's house was lost in a fire, and she didn't have enough money to rebuild the house, so they repurposed oh, wow. the Great Dane trailer. Mm -hmm. So they made it a living a house oh. with a kitchen, oh, wow. bedroom, living room, dining room. They repurposed the entire body of a Great Dane trailer. And she lived there, I think, until she died. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now, I'm very excited about the, the Heritage Festival, and it'll be celebrating kind of the past, the present, and the future. Mm -hmm. And that's in conjunction with the reopening, right, Brenda? Yes, it is. And um, we have a lot of activities planned for our visitors. Um, we're going to have, of course, food and entertainment. And of course, OJ the DJ will be there giving us vibes throughout the day. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so do we have a specific time? And, and is it obviously open to the public? Yes. And are, do you need a ticket or give us a little bit more information? Yes, Brenda? adults, are, the ticket cost is $10. Children, five dollars. Okay. Um, the time is from eleven to four. And will there be? So I was commenting on your beautiful earrings that you made. Yeah. I love. There's they're like a basket weave, right? Yes. So will there be maybe other things to purchase from various yeah. vendors at the festival? Yes, we will have craft vendors there um, who will have handmade jewelry um, yeah. and other items. Um, we will have this lady who does canning, so all that's part of the culture. Um, and we will have um, a variety of foods, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we are Gullah and uh, enjoy eating rice, you will have a variety of rice, white rice, red rice, seafood rice, peas mm. and rice. <laughs> so, um, I didn't know there were so many varieties. <laughs> yes, yes. I love rice. Yeah. So, 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 so come and <laughs> sample. S sounds wonderful. So yes. what a what a celebration. The Gullah Museum did close in, in May and then so it's been under renovation. Mm -hmm. um, so it will be reopening on July the 1st, which is a Saturday. It's actually a week from this Saturday. Yes. yes. And so you all come out and, and visit with your friends and neighbors and learn more about this fabulous, wonderful tradition. Gullah tradition and the legacy of the Gullah culture. Absolutely. At the museum. Thank you, Nell. Thank hey, you. And thank you, Brenda Williams, thank for all you. you do for our community. And thanks for being on our news. And thanks. we'll be we'll be right back, everyone.